So Todd, can you tell me a little bit about what type of research you do here at MTV and which particular projects might have been particularly interesting for you? Sure. Well, the good news is being part of Colleen's team here at MTV Networks um, is that it's fresh all the time. It's like it is a, uh, I find that like uh, people, it's what, something that Gwen said to me early on, people want what you're, what you have. They want those insights. They're, it's an, it's uh, a business that is eager to learn more and to uh, receive fresh translations of what actually is happening with their consumers. And so um, we're always doing something fresh. We get the benefit of actually being able to work with great brands, terrific brands and great research people. Uh, who inspire us and who we get to inspire and, and, work and collaborate on amazing projects to help uh, grow these terrific brands, to help inform the way our business is going. So in the corporate group, we are focused a lot on the business of, uh, that we're actually in, which is, of course, media uh, at large, but in particular, um, bringing the consumer's voice to the table. So I find that in a lot of, whether you're looking at the trades or you're listening to people at conferences where they're talking about um, what's happening, what their vision is for the industry or for their business, the consumer is almost always absent. And we, our leadership is dedicated, committed and convicted about making sure that the consumer has a voice at the table. Not about driving things, but certainly informing the conversation, the discourse. And so, um, over the years, it's like doing lots of research across the brands to uh, understand how all of our audiences range from the earliest of infants all the way through to, uh, and growing, I would say, um, to talk about engagement, to quantify those kind of uh, measure, new kinds of measures, um, transference, uh, looking at uh, brand equity and like how that actually uh, translates into something that's of value for our advertising and distribution partners. Um, MTV Networks is oftentimes looked to as uh, somewhat of a consultant to help under help businesses understand how to, to connect and relate with their audiences. So we broker a lot of those relationships. Um, we more recently, of course, as television is exploding into like new uh, kind of new meaning um, by all the different screens and devices and uh, services that are out there, we've been focused on streaming in a big way, understanding that. Of course, as more screens come up, come onto the scene, you have to recalibrate everything. So, and then of course, with the return path back to the television, which a lot of these devices allow to happen, there's a whole new game. And so we are, um, we've had to put in place, we get to put in place a lot of new tools, um, which include lots of different, a lot of orchestration with many different vendors um, and many different approaches, which last over a uh, you know, a bit of time. So it's gone are the days, I think, of the study that's in and out in like six weeks. It's like it's something that takes, it's much longer uh, because you need to have a long-term view and you need to have a continuous view. And those are the kinds of things, some of the kinds of things that we do. As part of Viacom, we, uh, because there's not a research department at Viacom, we, we, along with our partners at BET, our research colleagues at uh, BET Networks and Paramount, um, get the opportunity to basically do research on their behalf and to inform many things that they're doing. One most, most recent one that was certainly rewarding was uh, something that was done for Get Schooled, which is the, the partnership that Viacom has with the Gates Foundation, which is focused on keeping young people in school uh, and uh, being able to articulate what the benefits of having an education are and like staying in school uh, and how that, that pays off in the long run. It's those messages of stay in school and don't do this and don't do that don't work anymore. It's like you have to like really, of course, speak in the uh, the ways that they that relate to this that specific audience. And in particular, I'm talking about 18 to 24 year olds. The research that we did in partnership with Stanford University and the Associated Press, we decided to bring what we know best with our brands. It's like let's bring the treat that person as actually the consumer of education. Ironically all the reams of research out there on education reform, again, don't have the consumer at the table. They don't have that person who every year is dealing with an inflection point of like, do I go or do I not go? And um, we decided to do research with them in a very unique kind of way with ethnographies and in-depth interviews and things like that. It revealed a lot of fresh and new insights that, that had not, that basically helped to um, 
fuel the conversation over the course of the spring and the summer about how education needs to be reformed. So we're doing everything from uh, from those things which are driving our business to, of course, which are making us great partners, with leveraging the insights and the uh, relationships that we know how to actually help uh, reveal for our partners and our businesses. MTV is known for a lot of really great, creative, insightful research. Uh, you mentioned transference. Can you go into a bit about that? Sure. That was in a, from a few years back um, where we needed to quantify the value of what actually was happening when people, uh, when viewers would actually uh, seek out content on di on multiple screens. So, uh, but not only for that dynamic, because that would be enough to study. It's like, how does that actually transfer a benefit to the advertiser's message, to the promo's message, to the affiliate's local time message? How did that we needed to basically quantify that and. and to go about that, we you know work with some terrific uh, researchers in the business. We do a, we typically tend to uh, do a broad sweep of like what's uh, kind of a lit review of what's actually out there. Do lots of kind of peer to peer interviews with experts to find out um, what are what's the buzz like what's the latest kind of thinking. We feel like that thought leaders are critical to our to our uh, understanding of the marketplace to try to make it bring it into like new kinds of uh, forums and, and to raise the issues and like provide new value. Um, and then taking a systematic approach to going after doing this research. We have the benefit of having you know, more than 10 great brands here at MTV Networks that allows us all different genres of content to talk about to, um, and all different audiences. So you know, all, and pretty much you know, hundreds and thousands of different marketers who are working with us. So that collection along with these insights makes for a terrific way to uh, bring a message forward and to hopefully enlighten all of us and to bring the truth really to uh, the conversations that are happening about marketing and